Okay, what we're now going to do is we're going to focus a bit more on layers and I'm going to reconstruct this image that I have in front of you and primarily put this into layers so something that you guys would do at home to build up it could be any type of artwork or composition that you wish and I'm going to start by pressing control and A which is select all and control C so I want to copy that my workspace like so and I want to press control N or file new and this has basically copied my clipboard settings the dimension of my original artwork and placed it inside the dimensions of my clipboard so I've got my width and the height of my original document I've got my background of white and resolution of 72 pixels per square inch I want to go ahead and select OK and we'll see the same size of canvas like so and I'm just going to minimize that go back to my original artwork and what I'm going to do is using the selection tool I'm just going to select and drag a marquee around the header like so and I'm going to press Control C and select my other canvas and press Control V and I'm just going to go ahead and move that around and position that like so I want to continue to do this again using the marquee tool I'm just going to, going to draw out a a marquee like so around that image and press control C copy and control V and again I'm just going to position that I'm positioning it using the move tool and I'm pressing the keyboard shortcut which is V so you may not see me click that actual tool okay and I'm also going to do that with the text control C and control V so I'm just copying and pasting that one do this relatively quickly and I'm just going to do one for this like so control C control V and you'll see Photoshop's going to snap these objects and align them okay so here we go now you'll see my artwork like so and you'll see a series of layers so I've got layer one I'm just gonna relabel this so I'll say header and I'll just say mouse and I'll just say text and the final one I'll just label that mobile like so just so that for reference sake we know what lay I'm referring to okay so I've got my image like so and I'm gonna select the mouse okay so we can see I can move this around however what if I wanted to basically move two layers around we can do that quite simply if you hold control on the keyboard and select two layers and we can actually now move around those two layers okay which is quite cool another feature inside Photoshop is actually the ability to link those two layers so I don't actually have to select both of them like so and the way we do this is if we select both of them and if we click this tab here I can go to link layers like so and that creates a little chain icon to signify that they've been linked so example if I click on the text it's automatically links linked to the mouse layer so I can do that again they're both linked so which is quite cool another way to do that would be to from the layers tab as well just to highlight a quick point is if a layer is already linked when you go to this tab in the layers option that option has now changed to unlink so you won't see linked layers so if I click that it will unlink the layer I'll quickly show you over here we can go to layer and we can also go to link layers like so now this the only difference is that we don't have to if we want to move this around we do not have to select both of the, those layers we can just click on one and it will it's already linked to the other one that's quite cool another feature in Photoshop is which we use in photography a lot of the time is to merge these two layers together so effectively it it is treated as one layer in itself 
so the way we do this is we can select the two layers we want and we can just go to merge layers or control and E and that's just now merged the layer so it's actually now one layer you can see the mouse layers disappeared that's because the text layer was selected I'll just show you that again I'm just going to go back to my history tab and just eliminate the last step and the merge layers step as well like so and I'll do that again I can go to merge layers and you'll see it's merged okay another quick tip is I'm going to get rid of merge layers again another quick tip is these if you want to merge layers you do not have to link them first just so that we're clear so I'm just going to unlink these like so and if I select now for example three layers and I'm holding shift and I just clicked on on the mouse layer so I'll just do that again I'm selecting the, the mobile layer I'm going to hold shift and click on the mouse layer so I've selected those three layers and I'm going to select the tab from the layers option and I'm going to go to merge layers like so now that has now merged the whole block of those graphics like so and we can do that as well I'm just going to undo that step and I'm just going to hold control and click manually this time on each of the layers same same sort of thing I can click I can hold shift and click here it selects all three of them or I can click and holding control on the keyboard I can click to drag select multiple layers I mean you could the reason why I'm showing you that two different options because holding control I can select those two layers without selecting the text layer I can't do that if I hold shift so if I hold shift it will select all of them automatically and if I go to layer we can also do merge layers from here again same option so we'll see that artwork so that's quite cool we will need to use that in image making because working with too many layers can be horrendous at times so it may simplify our multimedia workflow indeed our composition workflow when dealing with side photoshop